Here we are, week of uh, January 26, 2015. A collection of three planets in the sign of Pisces brings us to a place of dreamy potential. Ideas that we may have once thought unlikely may be able to move forward under this influence. Neptune and Mars will firmly be entrenched in Pisces and are enjoined early in the week by Venus. Venus, Venus enters into Pisces with a flourish since she is quite happy in the sign of the elusive dreamer. Venus loves Pisces. Pisces is the sign where escapism, poetry, and lofty bursts of color and creativity thrive. When Venus brings along her influence to this area of the zodiac, we may see a creative outpouring of the highest order. As Mars is the great motivator, and Neptune ru rules over the subconscious, we may see some real traction in all artistic endeavors. Of course, while this influence will be most notable to all Pisceans, the same type of vibe will extend to the other water signs as well. Scorpios and Cancers may also benefit from the most propitious alignment, auspicious and propitious. Mars represents the masculine, the aggressor, and the ambitious, whereas Venus holds the creative, harmonious, harmonious and love-struck as her allies. When we add the elusive Neptune to the mix, we might expect to see a manifestation of harmonious intentions. We may feel as if the world has undergone enough in the form of tragedy and disaster, and we may finally feel this influence as this time of healing and compassion enters. It's much more of a, that time, I think. That's an overall theme. Mercury, however, will still be in retrograde and aligning with the suns toward the end of the week. And although Mercury typically gets in the way of communications, it, it also has the ability to influence matters in positive ways, simply through a tendency to, to learn something through doing. Since Mercury sets the stage for reconsideration, we may come to a place where we are more able to forgive and forget rather than dwell on looking backwards. The theme that prevails under this alignment is that of review. In fact, Mercury offers some of the best when he actions that we come to mind when we use the word, or the prefix rather, re, and brought to the surface. Refinance, reestablish, revisit, revise, and so on. Rethink. This influential little planet can cast his spell in many ways that are positive. And rather than run for the hills because of Mercury retrograde, jump in and see what needs to be rethought, refixed. A careful examination of existing patterns can be an immensely useful exercise, especially if mistakes are found and corrections are made. There is a silver lining in all the clouds. Listen each week to Turning of the Wheel podcast on iTunes or my website, www.turningofthewheel.com. Great guests, great topics, information you can use. Write to me for a reading at 978. Oh, write to me for a reading at chris at chrisflisher.com. You can call me at 978-393-1036. My website is turningofthewheel.com. I'm on Facebook. You can like me there. Like me. You can like uh, on Twitter and on YouTube where you're watching this right now. So also watch out for my turningofthewheel.tv website where I've got several introductory um, explanations of things, of signs and planets and other astrological information that's useful. So I encourage you to do that, and I will see you all next week. Bye-bye.